We are getting requests to overthrow Tinubu Nigerian military. The Nigerian Defense Headquarters has confirmed receiving requests from unknown persons to overthrow President Bola Tinubu's administration amid the ongoing political standoff in Niger Republic, where the military recently removed the country's democratically elected president, Mohamed Bazoum. The defense headquarters suggests that proponents of the coup d'etat are basing the calls on alleged poor welfare within the armed forces. The director of defense information, Brigadier General Tukur Gazao, confirmed this in a statement releasing via the defense headquarters official Twitter account at Defense Info NG. The military frowned on the call for military intervention in the national democracy, labeling such an unpatriotic and wicked and an attempt to divert the focus of the armed forces from their constitutional duties. While acknowledging the significance of ensuring the welfare of its personnel, the leadership of the defense headquarters said it remains resolute in safeguarding the principles of democracy in Nigeria. We detest any attempt by any individual or group to instigate the law-abiding armed forces of Nigeria to embark on any unconstitutional change of government in our country. We wish to state categorically that the military is happy and better under democracy and will not get involved in any act of sabotage the hard-earned democracy of in our country. The AFN, under the leadership of Chief of Defense Staff, General C.G. Musa, is determined to ensure complete subordination of the armed forces to constitutional authorities under His Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu, and will not be distracted from its rule that are well defined in the 1999 constitution as, as amended, said Gusau. On July 26, 2023, a group of soldiers led by General Abdurrahmani Chani overthrew the government of President Mohammed Bazoum in military coup. Chani subsequently declared himself the head of the National Council for the safeguard of the homeland while placing his former boss and country's democratically elected president under house arrest. General Chani has so far refused to compromise with any of the suggestions made to him, including appeal by the Tunubu-led ECOWAS to restore democratic rule in the country. Thank you for watching and remember to follow us on Casa TV on Facebook and YouTube. And don't forget to share, share.